Good morning, good morning. Uh, I am Doc Ian. So today, naa sa Friends Radio 96.7. <laughs> so good morning sa inyong tanan sa mga naminaw today. Um, uh, I will talk in Bisaya and Tagalog. So kung okay lang sa inyo, maminaw ta para atong makuan kung namin mga problema sa inyong mga health problems. So today, we are going to focus on two diseases na very common sa Filipinos, hypertension and diabetes. So also, if you want to um, uh, send me questions, you can send it via Facebook Live. I will be reading some of your questions here. So send lang mo while I am um, watching the live. So ayun. Um, so to start, uh, kamot, um, kamo nga mga naminaw karon. Uh, I hope you're feeling good. So Karon ato i-talk about is hypertension. So magsuot na og glasses kay Marvin ko kita. So sa mga na hypertension, unsa man ang hypertension? What do you think about when you hear the word hypertension, no? Or sometimes kasi sa Tagalog it's also called uh, alta presyon. Uh, I don't know what's the Bisaya term but I guess we will settle with hypertension. So sa hospital, usually when patients come in with hypertension, they will always um, uh, complain that uh, they like to um, eat healthy. Ah, uh, not healthy. They like to eat salty food, and um, usually, hindi sila nag-exercise. And one of the usual questions they ask is that, why do I have to drink mga medicine for hypertension? So, unsa man atong need to focus on sa hypertension? Uh, why do we have to avoid mga salty foods? Uh, why do we need to drink uh, medicine? Lalo na when we have um, hypertension, so we can focus on that. But before we understand that, let us define what hypertension is, no? So, hypertension is an increase in the blood pressure. So, kung musulti kag pressure, let's say, uh, sa water, so you have a water bottle, and of course, di ba, kung grabe ang pressure sa water bottle, pwede siya mabuto, di ba? So, that's one of the things that we look into pressure. So, ang uh, blood pressure manggud nato is the force of the circulating blood against the walls of the body's arteries. So, kung baga kung naakay artery, of course, uh, kung nga ana ang shape sa uh, kung natay artery, gadagan ang dugo diya sa atong artery and of course na pressure that goes with it. So, ang hypertension is that excessive ang pressure na naa sa atong arteries. So, kung mo, kung may, may tabo na kung excessive pwede mo buto ang atong artery which is why na ay mga people na kung uncontrolled ang ilahang hypertension uh, pwede sila magka myocardial infarction or heart attack ang uban sad pwede magka stroke di ba so daghan kaayo og mga different leading um daghan kaayo mga different diseases na naglead towards ang hypertension but it is actually the biggest uh, factor risk factor for stroke so kung naka hypertension uh uh, we have as we have to control it as much because we don't want na magka-stroke ta, ba? Cuz that's very um hard to treat na and eventually pwede ta magka sakit more kung magka-stroke na and daghan nag mahitabo sa ato ah. So unsa man ang hypertension? When when can we say na naatay hypertension? So hypertension is uh, usually ko ang blood pressure nato is greater than 140 over 90. Considered normal ang less than 120 over um, 80. So, karon na na bag na sa JNC8. Yung muna siya ang, what do you call this, ang basis sa pag-test sa blood pressure. I'm not blood pressure, but like sa basis sa pagtanaw kung na hypertension or dili and muna siya ang ihatag sa ito uh, for um, criteria. So, bo na to siya. Naapoy ginatawag na hypertensive crisis kung it's going to be greater than 180 over 110. So, Doc, why is it that there are two numbers, 180 over 110? Why is that my naay numerator? Kung sa math pa, why is there a numerator and why is there a denominator? So, the numerator is what you call your systolic blood pressure. So, your systolic blood pressure is the blood pressure na nagpa-pump ang heart. So, it's the force that, um, muna siya nag-contract ang heart, kumbaga. Uh, in simple terms na kanang mag pump ang heart. <laughs> and then diastolic is when nag-relax ang heart. Muna, of course, we cannot say na atong blood pressure is like um, 110 over uh, 180. 
Okay, of course, we could not like uh, say na mas grabe mag-pump ang mas grabe mag mas grabe ang blood pressure ko mag-relax ang heart kaysa ko mag-pump ang heart, 'di ba? So, of course, it should be that mas grabe ang pressure when mag-pump ang heart. Okay? So, there are different classifications of hypertension na ay ginatawag na primary or essential hypertension and there is also your secondary hypertension or non-essential hypertension. So usually the difference between the two is that uh, for primary hypertension, it actually accounts for more than 90% of cases. Uh, it's because of usually of mga factors that we can uh, modify like yung mga obesity. Of course, obesity, if you guys know it, uh, uh, it's the increase and the uh, uh, um, fat. So, napod tayo, high salt diet. These are things that we can actually uh, change in our lifestyle. So, of course, uh, daghan sa mga cases karon na related sa environment and that um, amounts to like our diet as well. So, that is what you call your primary or essential hypertension. The other hypertension is called your secondary hypertension or your non-essential hypertension. So, this one naman, uh, this is a hypertension na um, naakay mga underlying diseases that uh, that may lead to your hypertension, di ba? For, or your increase in blood pressure. So, it can be due to a kidney problem, can be uh, due to diabetes, and other um, uh, causes that may lead to your hypertension. Uh, but I guess, for you guys who are listening right now, it pays to know na daghan yun ang cases sa atong primary hypertension. So, these are one of the things that we should focus on. Kay, these are the things that we can change for now and prevent, no? We can prevent hypertension naman. We don't want na for the rest of our life, we are going to drink a maintenance medication so just so we can control our hypertension. So, bata pa lang, it's better to prevent hypertension from happening, di ba? Um, so, Muna siya, as I mentioned, also pala di ay nga ka ng, sa Atua sa Philippines, um, one point, for what? Oh, sa world di ay, di sa Philippines, 1.13 billion people na ay hypertension. It's one in five women, it's one in four men, and actually the problem is that the most people do not know they have it. Muna, what we call hypertension, it is a silent killer. Because sometimes we do not know that we have it. Because sometimes we feel like, kunwari, inatay. Simple complaints such as headache. And some, uh, of course, headache, sometimes, ang iba, mag-drink lang sila para sa tamal, di ba? Uh, which is kung if we keep on doing that and then grabe na tong headache of course there must be an underlying problem because of course di naman pwede na every day na lang ta na ay headache or con- um, consistent nga na at ay headache di ba so of course so um muna siya ginatawag na siya na silent killer kay sometimes we do not know that we have it and very late na na magpa-check up ta sa doctor that's why sa mga naglisten today if you have mga small problems uh, make sure to check with your doctor, have a yearly checkup, lalo na sa mga may edad na, because it's very important to check on your health. Sometimes, there are things na um, we want to take care of in our bodies, but we are just too afraid to go to the hospital and check up with a doctor. But the thing is, that will be a bad thing in the long run. Muna as much as possible, kung naate mga naramdaman na mga sintomas, it pays to ask and it's better na muad to sa doctor and ask, di ba? So, ma-prevent na to ang mga long-term effects sa mga unsa man ang mga sakit-sakit na pwede na itong makuha. Okay? So, actually, sa Philippines, ang top 10 na mga provincial or area na estimates na may hypertension among adults 20 years and over is actually Gimaras. So, according na siya sa ano, no? Sa... Small area estimation of the provincial prevalence of hypertension among adults in the Philippines. So, nag-statist na sila yung mga gibuat na research and nice statistics and it shows na Gimaras ang pinaka number one. Na 80% siya na hypertension, prevalence of hypertension in the Philippines. Number two, Kamigin. Number three, Sultan Kudarat. Number four, Pasay. Number five, Muntinlupa. Number six, Las Piñas. Number seven, Davao. 8, Katanduanes, and then 9, Kalinga. Oh, so, tied to number 2, di ay sa Kamigin, ang Kirinosan. So, muna siya na area, maybe because um, 
this uh for the side sa salty food di ba you can see na sa Gimaras na yung mga salty food din uh maybe i haven't been to Gimaras but uh we regardless of where you are in the Philippines or where you are in the world it's nice to actually know what your blood pressure is eventually especially when you get older so doc kung saan man na pagkuha sa blood pressure how do we know na nami hypertension if we do not know how to get our blood pressure um, so may ginatawag na sphygmomanometer so muna siya ang um, ginagamit nato to measure our blood pressure so kung mag-search mo sa internet I couldn't show a picture now pwede mo mag-search og sphygmomanometer and mo gawas na siya na makita ninyo unsaon pag um, na uh, pag measure sa blood pressure so naa na siya automatic na siya manual so of course Kung mo add mo sa inyong doktor, i-measure naman yun na nila ang ilahang inyong blood pressure. And if gusto yun din yung mahibalan inyong blood pressure, you can actually go to your local health centers and have your blood pressure checked, ba? Just to make sure na okay ta and normal ang ato ang blood pressure. Again, normal blood pressure is less than 120 over 80, okay? So, when our doctor comes to us, of course, we have to be honest. If mag-check ta sa itong blood pressure, 30 minutes before, we should not be drinking coffee. Of course, dilita mag-exercise because these are things that can increase our blood pressure. And pwede na kung mag, um, measure that sa itong blood pressure, it may be elevated because of course of the caffeine, because uh, nag-exert ta o grabe na energy and effort to do our exercise, which is, which can also like, um, what do you call this? Ma-alter ma- 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 sa ng ato ang result sa pag-measure sa blood pressure. Diba? But of course, Alay mo, high blood na kabutang, pero dili di ka high blood. So, isa po na. So, as much as possible, relax ka when they take your blood pressure. And nakalingkod ka properly straight, dili maglihok-lihok. And have them take your blood pressure properly. So, mauna siya, be honest kid sa mga doctor ninyo kung unsa inyo ang mga tibati. Kay Lisod said, if magpa-check up to sa doctor and we're not honest about what we feel. Diba? Wala may pulos kung mga tao niya, dili ta honest. Nagbino ang radiay ta. So, so, unsa man ang mga risk factor? Kung when you say risk factor, these are um, risks <laughs> na may eventually lead to hypertension or mo siya atong things na we must avoid, ba? So, of course, risk factor siya. So, the more we do these things or the more that we eat these things, uh, it will eventually lead to hypertension, lalo na if it is uncontrolled. So, na ginatawag na modifiable risk factor and non-modifiable risk factor. So, non-modifiable, of course, age. We cannot al- change our age. Di man po na. Kung 35 ta karon, tomorrow 34 ta. So, we cannot alter that. Um, af- our ethnicity, uh, of course, Filipino. We cannot just say American ta when we're in fact Filipinos. Because there are also different manggod na, um, different manggod sad ang Filipinos and Americans. And of course, uh, genetics na to, family history, of course, when we say uh, may hypertension sa family, most likely, pwede sad na ikaw pwede po magka-hypertension. Lalo na if it is very prevalent in the family history. So, if you have a family history of hypertension, it's better if you have yourself checked. Uh, of course, gender. Uh, iba, lahi man yun ang babae o lalaki. So, uh, if naputay LGBTQ uh, community, okay po na. But what I mean is, of course, dili na to ma um, alter na. Um, that's part of us naman. So, ang mga modifiable is, of course, um, dietary salt. So, ang asin, no? Asin? Uh, asin can really, um, what do you call this? Increase our blood pressure. And how does it increase our blood pressure? So, of course, when we have a lot of salt in our body, ang salt mangod, they go with water. So, of course, when we have a lot of salt in the body, daghan po og water na gaagi sa blood uh, vessels na to. So, kung mahitabo na, of course, duha ka book ni Agi, kunwari, natay road din ha, duha ka sakyanan. Of course, maghuot, di ba? Kung maghuot, or kung maging masikip yan, it will be harder for the artery to, or the uh, blood, uh, for blood flow. And because of that, magka-increase ko na nga to ang blood pressure. Okay? So, of course, number two, poor diet and uh, obesity. So, poor diet can be of different things man, uh, poor diet can be na kung grabe ka mag-eat og junk food. Kung unsa man na inyong ipangkaon karon karong breakfast, unta healthy na, di ba? Mga oatmeal, mga um, 
wheat bread, kung bread ka, unkag bread, better na mga wheat bread kaysa ka ng white bread, mas daghan mag na siya og calories. So, um, uh, calories, uh, not just calories, but also sugar. So, I hope that sa mga nag to the this morning, I hope you are eating well and prevent ta sa mga high in salt na mga food, okay? And of course, focus ta sa atong diet, balanced diet, everything in moderation. Doesn't mean na, maingon ko na bawal, salt, dili gud ka mukha ng salt, di ba? Of course, dili man gud maiwasan na na salt sa food. Uh, what I'm saying is, eat everything in moderation. So, when I say eat everything in moderation, dili everyday ta mag-ham. Dili ta everyday mag-bacon, no? di ba? Mga high in salt man sila. And especially red meat sila. And of course, um, uh, lack of physical activity. Kung dili ta mag-exercise, di ba? Of course, dili ta sedentary atong lifestyle. Sedentary, but pasabot is of course, nag-sit down lang ta all the time. No activity, no workouts, or um, as uh, as simple as like a 30-minute walk every day uh, can go a long way. So, if you are here, you are listening, please do try and incorporate walking in your daily activities or your daily routine. Uh, in the morning, maybe kung dili kaayo init, or in the late afternoon, if it's already kulimlim na, hindi na kaayo um, hot, so, pwede mo mag labaw na karoon na summer na init kayo. So, it's very nice na mag-walk ta, no? Pwede ta mag, mag-sweat and it will actually um, help us feel good in throughout our day, ah, ba? And, of course, mental stat, uh, health and stress. Stress food, it can actually lead to high blood pressure. So, if you are very stressed in your work, take time to relax. Uh, don't uh, overwork yourself. Kay, of course, stress can also lead to hypertension. So, moto siya ato mga modifiable na mga risk factors na pwede na ito ma-change. So, actually, experts recommend that people consume less than 2,300 milligrams of um, salt per day. So, actually, equal ni ang 2,300 milligrams of sodium to a teaspoon of table salt. Okay? So... Kung naakay high blood pressure, hypertension, or you were diagnosed with hypertension, mga kidney diseases, um, or older ka, elderly, it is advisable that you could, should consume less than 1,500 1, mg of sodium per day. I research na ko ni because I think this is one of the things that we should watch out for. And I want to give you guys an example. Nagdalagid ko rin no? o mga pagkaon na mga usual na ginakaon na to sa atong mga... Uh, balay. O, oh, kani. Kunwari, Vienna sausage. Very uh, high in sodium. Siyang so, sodium kay 590 milligrams. Kung sa tokong gisulti, 1,500 milligrams of sodium per day ang recommended. Pero kani palang daan, kung mukhaon na kaani, Vienna sausage, breakfast pa lang, 590 milligrams na of salt imong makonsume. O, ba? So, kung ikaw lang mukhaon ani, mahurot gini mo ni ani. Wala na, mulapas na ka kay Overs, napakay lunch, napakay dinner, ba? Diyan pa ilain na pagkaon na, o usual na ito ginakaon, ang ham. Ang ham, o, oh, kaning ham. So, kani siya nga ham, uh, yung servings per container, 8. Dahil ng ihang sodium is 620 milligrams per serving. O, 620 times 8 is almost 4,800. O, ba? It's super uh, daghan na kayo siya sodium. And lapas na gid kayo ta, even for mga normal na mga um, adults, lapas na gid siya because what, uh, as I mentioned, kung sa normal adults, 2,300 and then sa elderly, 1,500. Uh, the more so, you have to control it if you have hypertension or, or if you are an elderly. Okay, of course, isod na. And of course, century 2 na. Isa pa ni, uh, we always eat this. Um, Yang salt is 370 milligrams. And kaninga container mismo, 3 servings na siya. So, kung 3 servings na siya, 300 times 3, o ba 900 na. Hapit na ka sa recommended. ba So, muna siya to i-watch out for. Kung naminaw mo karon uh, I hope you take into consideration that if you do eat this food, mga canned goods, uh, moderation lang ta. Dili everyday na mag-ham, dili everyday mag na sausage, dili everyday na mag-canned goods, okay? Okay, I hope you are listening because this can really help you out in the long run. Even sa mga, even for me, I have to take that into account also, okay? It also applies to me or however, ba? 
So, kung na kay poor diet, unsa man na siya makalid to hypertension. Natay ginatawag kong poor diet, daghan ka mga kolesterol at mga ginapagkaon, di ba? So, na ay uh, mag-build up of plaque sa atong mga arteries. So, mag-build up na siya. Then, of course, kung mag- mag-build up siya, kung anong artery, mudaghan din na siya eventually. Kung mudaghan siya, kung say may tabo, ma-block ang atong arteries. Dili makapump o blood o tarong. And that leads to for the heart attack, for the stroke. And that is something that we do not want to happen. So, of course, we will control our diet. ba? Diba? So, how do we control our diet? Mag-exercise. So, sa mga minaw karon, hinaot, mag-exercise mo after sa ato ang program. <laughs> So, atong gipang mention ganina is more about mga definition of hypertension, no? So, now let us talk about when will I know na I have hypertension. We also talked about sa blood pressure again. Sa mga bago lang na minaw karon hypertension uh, greater than 140 over 90 and normal is less than 120 over 80, okay? So, now let's focus on the symptoms. So, what if, Doc, na nakoy gibati? Hypertension na ba ni? So, mga common symptoms of hypertension Usually, mga early stages of hypertension may include headache, um, fatigue, pwede po mga um, irregular heartbeat ka na. Actually, irregular heartbeat, mas more na na siya sa severe na na siya. So, uh, as, of course, kung grabe na ganyan hypertension and very uncontrolled and you do not have a check-up with your doctor, base mo ibati na kay chest pain. And um, chest pain, difficulty of breathing. Uh, kung sa um, bisaya pa, uh, sakit sa dughan <laughs> or kanang maglisod o ginhawa okay so or kung sa tagalog sa ban sakit sa dibdib and hirap gumi- sa ginhawa di ba so these are things that we do not want to we, we, did, we do not wait to happen because of course when that happens we have to have ourselves check na sa ER and usually karon time sa covid it's better that we prevent these things from happening and keep ourselves healthy because you should know if we go to the hospitals right now we will be um, there are chances that we will be exposed to covid and we do not want that from happening ba? so it's either you want to go to the hospital and then we will have uh, you'll be treated for mga stroke or hi- uh, uh, heart attack because you did not um control your diet or you did not exercise or you had so many salt uh, so much salt intake uh, or pili ka that or you live a healthy life and stay at home and prevent yourself from going in the hospital uh, diba? it's really all up to you it's all up to your choice whatever you want to do i'm just here to inform you guys uh, what hypertension is and the what it can lead to which is something naman that we don't want to happen uh, diba? so so, karon, since you already know what hypertension is, we already know what a normal blood pressure is, when to say that we have high blood pressure or what food to avoid, of course, we have to also avoid tension and be happy. <laughs> Kasi, di ba, as I mentioned, uh, stress is also a uh, risk factor for hypertension. So, kung uh, natay stress, of course, we have to take our time to relax as well. So, muna siya ang very important sa uh, talk na to this morning about hypertension. It is really about lifestyle intervention. No? As I mentioned, this is all about choice. Whatever um, you choose in life, as again, I mentioned, pili ka lang kung sa inyo mong gusto, di ba? Kung matukag hospital, madiagnose ka, and mag, uh, inom na kang tambal every time and for a lifetime, or healthy ka, and then moderation imong diet and um, okay ang imong kuan. So, can live happily. Diba? Pili lang ka. So, mauna siya. So, mga tambal manggod sa diabetes, uh, sa, sorry, sa hypertension, na manggod ginatawag ana na mga losartan, mga amlodipin. Muna siya ang usual. But, do not drink that. Kunwari, na kayo mabati. Kung what, kunwari, gikan ka sa health center and um, you had yourself check. Of course, just because na uh, nag-high blood pressure ka, and then uli ka, and you feel like naka high blood pressure, but wala ka na-diagnose, feel lang ni mo, do not ever self-medicate, okay? We are strongly against self-medication. Bahalag, kuan pa na siya, antibiotic or any other medication labaw na this time na COVID, uh, it's very easy, or it's very, what do you call this? Um, 
madali kayo ta mat- matintal, matintal sa mga fake news, di ba? It's very easy for other medicines or like mga pharmaceutical companies to market their medicine now and just say na this will treat COVID and daghan ka ayog mga ways. But again, as I mentioned, it dapat mag-research ta. We should not uh, listen to mga fake news right away, di ba? Or self-medicate. Okay. That's what happens eh. When we read fake news, whatever we read sa fake news na kana, let's say, um, this person drank this medicine or nitumar siya ang atambal, iya da day ng buhaton. So, dili na nato dapat buhaton, okay? Kay, ang mga medicine na ay ginatawag na mga side effects. So, tanan medicine na agud na sila side effects whatsoever. Um, it, it may be as simple as like um, um, vomiting, ganun, but we still do not want that from happening, di ba? So, better yun na magkuan ta karon. Um, magbasa ta og tarong and dili ta maminaw sa mga fake news na kana. Okay? So, let's go to a commercial break and later we will talk about our next topic which is diabetes. Siguraduari mo panglawas nga protektado. Adiana, ang gikahugupan nga vitamina nga makahatag og dakong katabang kanato, ang Secure Vitamins. Secure Vitamin C plus zinc and DHA. Makatabang sa pagpakusog sa imong immune system, makatabang sa pag-amping sa imong brain, heart, ug mas makahatag og tinaw nga pananaw. Plus, aduna kini calcium ascorbate. Makatabang sa pagpakusog sa atong mga bukob ug sa atong mga ngipon. Isecure na imong health pag secure na. Secure, siguradong protektado. Magbalay kong dako, may na kay gamay ray balay, kay gasto ka ayo, mahal biya kay karon Ay pagbuot niya, nyaon niya, asa ka mamagbalay? Ha, ah, dito sa bukid, kay hangin ka ayo, kalayo ba ka ayo? Ha, ah, ay lagi pagbuot, hmm, budget kita niya kay mamalit ang materialisa Crisland Commercial Corporation, ha, ah, ah, ay pagbuot, ako'y nagunits budget, at tutas Crisland kay gawas nga kompleto, barato Crisland Commercial Corporation, kung construction supplies ang inyong ikinahanglan, kompleto ang Crisland Commercial Barato ug paspas ang serbisyo ug ang mga staff maabi-abihon kaayo alang sa construction supplies at tunata sa Queensland Commercial Corporation matutulan sa Padillas Corner Delion Street Iligan City for inquiries tawag sa cellphone number 0917720205 Queensland Commercial Corporation Hi sir motor ka unsay motor ko Ayag binastos, hab? Di raba ko ginahag binastos. Lahi man ang imo, sir, ay? Motor ba ka ng brum-brum? Aw, oh, lagi. Unya, barato ra diha. Ay, stilan, pinakabarato ta diri, sir. O, oh, tanawa, halos ipanghatag naman lang gana yung motor? Inig-process ni mo? Release da yun, way daghang langas. Ha, kuyawa, unsa man ni diri? Maon ni Real Motors. Real Motors Kung motor ang hisgutan Tanang branda ng motor ni Adiri Matagkuha ni mo sa motor Aduna free helmet Free 1 year LTO registration Free TPL insurance Kunya kini Nag-offer sila og warranty sa makina Aduna sila available spare parts Sa mga makina Sa inyong motor O mga espesyalistang mekaniko Nga mutrabaho gidayon sa inyong motor Kung aduna kini diferensya Real Motors Barato ang gout payment Kumpara sa uban Real Motors Ana alang matultulan Sa Tibanga Highway Dool yun sa MSU IIT Nindot gida Adiri sa Real Motors no? Oh, na customer Kung Pinsi ako nuna. Ay, maliit na bagay. Hi, sir. Motor ka? Naapay, Jack, sir. Hoy, ayaw lagi ng binastos. Unsa ko ng motor. Dahil yung Jack. Binastos dahil na. Huwag mo hatagtag free Jack sa sakinan. Real Motors. Eh, arang sukle, oh. Kulang, Manilo. Ayaw kong binuagi, doy. Major in mathematics ko, 150 na. Usa ka gatos, o usa ka 50. Puros rumanggod 50, lulu. Bitaw nun. Tag 50 rin bitaw ni. 150. More. Hanap nga pananaw, daw sa maw o sambol ang kalimutaw, basin dunay katara, glaucoma, o guban pa ang palatian sa mata. Hinungdan nga di ka na makaklaro bisan sa mga litra. Gamita ni Higala, Nance, Idras, aron malikayan ang infeksyon sa pananaw. Batasanon gayod ang paglimpyo sa atong mga mata. Gamit ang epektibo, siguradong makaayo. Nance, Idras. Nung, sobra imong sukli. Di gahapon maklaro? Perteng klaro ha day oy hayag ayo ag imong kaanyag di ay hayag ay mm. ah, 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 ah. 
Hay! Hayag no? Hayag oy, kita kong bituon. Hayag na pananaw, hayag na panglantaw. Nance Eye Drops, mapalit sa mga butika nationwide. Ars Nova Lights and Sounds are counted amongst the prominent service providers engaged in offering lighting systems and equipment on a rental basis. These services are considered ideal for various occasions, such as birthday parties, wedding ceremonies, music shows, and corporate events. Ars Nova Lights and Sounds also caters booking for live bands, stand-up comedian, and MCs for various occasions. For bookings, call us at 221-5165 or text us at 0917-716-716. 8627 Ars Nova Lights and Sounds This is 96.7 FM Friends Radio Okay, okay good morning everyone We are back again So... Before we start our next topic, which is diabetes, I want to congratulate our newest board passers sa uh, board exam, the recent one sa March 2021. So, ato mga recent board passers na from Iligan City are si Lorenzo Abihay, MD, uh, Maria Veronica Achacoso, MD, Amethyst Alicanta, MD, um, Faith Pilapil Bartolaba, MD, Van Lendil Calibugar, MD. Therese Calo, MD. Uh, Midel Cardines, uh, sakto ba kung pagka-pronounce, MD. Rosendo Katindig, MD. Kezaya Evasco, MD. Geoffrey Gonzaga, MD. Kizel Logon- Logronio, MD. Johaimen Makaalang, MD. Christine Panes, MD. Rohaina Rataban, MD. Karina Rudy, MD, and Far Tangkusan, MD. So, congratulations. I am very happy for all of you and very proud. Uh, um, I'm sure mga Iliganos are also proud of you. And finally, you can add the MD to your name. That's why I mentioned Tamutana na MD sa mga names because I'm also very proud na nana mo MD sa inyong name. So, round of applause for our newly board passers. Okay. Now, let's uh, continue our next topic. So, Ganina atong gi talk about was the uh, hypertension, de ba? So hypertension again is yung high blood pressure. So this time we are going to talk about diabetes. So what is diabetes? Or actually, ang uban nako patients sometimes they will come into my office no and say, "Doc, na ako y diabetes, oh, de ba?" So what is that? So ang uban mag-complain, hilig ko sa cake, doc. Ang uban mag-complain sa sila. Um, I always pee or I always pee ng English na noon ta Tagalog or Ibisaya para makasabot um, so Tagalog laging umiihi sa gitna ng gabi no? or permi kong pangihi kung alas 4 alas 2 sa buntag naapoy ana okay or sometimes ang other chief complaint would be or chief complaint magod mo na siyang always na ka ng mention sa patient once they sit down ikaw as a doctor that's what you will first ask oh, what is the reason of your checkup diba muna siyang chief complaint so nanghihina ako usually doc so weakness diba these are things or common na mga chief complaint sa mga patients nato na uh, will be uh, will most likely have diabetes or may probably have diabetes so Worldwide, ang diabetes katung 2015 was 415 million. So, kung silent killer ang hypertension, ang diabetes daghan sad kaayo og mga cases. Okay, worldwide, not just in the Philippines. And especially in the Philippines na because Filipinos are known to eat mga sweet food, 'di ba? Sometimes our spaghetti is sweet, 'di ba? na variant na Italian sp- uh, spaghetti pero sa Filipinos they would prefer ang sweet na spaghetti di ba from Jollibee o di ba favorite nato na so sa two uh, na estimate na na by 2040 mahimong 642 million ang mga tao nga nay diabetes so di ba it is exponentially growing over time and um karon pa lang We have to prevent it from happening, especially if we know na we have a diabetes na family history, de ba? Kay 
we cannot control genetics man. Of course, kung na ay diabetes si Lolo, di man pwede na, lo, nga nung naman kay diabetes, we cannot do that. So, what we do now is that because we know that na ay family history of diabetes, we can prevent it from happening, okay? So, sa Philippines, na ay sa 2014 prevalence estimates published by the International Diabetes Federation, there are 3.2 million cases of type 2 diabetes in the Philippines. We will talk about the mga types of diabetes in a while, but muna siya, 3.2 million cases sa Philippines and 5.9% prevalence rate in adults between the ages of 20 and 79 years old. And on top of that, there are still other people who are undiagnosed with diabetes. O, ba? Sometimes when you are at home and kung uh, sa mga listeners na to this morning, maybe you you find yourself na always magwiwi in the middle of the night. Uh, some kung regular na niya o um, consistent, no, it's best to ask your doctor and talk to your doctor. Kay dili na niya normal kung sigi na lang nga in the middle of the night. Ikapila kung ikapila, mo na siya ginatawag no na polyuria. Okay, so. Um, diabetes can be uh, two types man siya, di ba? As I mentioned, ganyan type 2 ang prevalence sa Philippines na daghan. 20 to 79 years old. So, in between that age gap, uh, there are a lot of patients or Filipinos that were diagnosed with diabetes. Okay? So, type 1 diabetes is different from type 2 diabetes. no? So, type 1 diabetes is that naanay problem ang atong pancreas. So, the pancreas cannot produce insulin. So, insulin is what is muna siyang ginagamit or muna siyang hormone sa body na mag-make you sa glucose um, sa atong body. So, whenever we eat, of course, na sugar, na glucose, na, uh, na, na uh, dapat na insulin para ma-use up sa atong body. And, of course, it will equal into energy. Mauna, when we feel tired or kung may kinatawag na hypoglycemia, kung wala ka ayo tay um, sugar or glucose sa body, uh, of course, di ba? Of course, weakness ta, kapoy ta. And that's is why we uh, use um, glucose as a form of energy. So, the only way na magamit na to ang glucose or ang, ang, ang atong ipangkaon is through insulin. So, the problem with type 1 diabetes no is that walay ang pancreas uh, does not produce ning kaning insulin. So, because of that, dili yun, muna ang mga type 1 diabetes, dili pwede nga mag-take rana sila or magtumara sila or drink na medicine na oral. Oral in a sense nga, compared sa mga um, kailangan na lifelong na gini sila na mag-inject sila insulin sa body because as I mentioned, because the pancreas cannot create your insulin, there is no f- way for you to um, take up your glucose and use it in the body. Diba? We, of course, kung uh, diabetes man god is excessive um, glucose in the body or hyperglycemia. O, diba? So, kung too much food ang sugar sa body, dili po siya okay. And the reason why muna siya ang bantayan sa type 1 diabetes is because we keep on eating in our daily lives, but then hindi li matake up sa itong body, of course, it will lead to adverse effects and mga debilitating effects, which we do not want to happen. Muna siya. Compared siya sa type 2 diabetes, na ang type 2 diabetes, okay atong pancreas, no? They will produce uh, insulin, but um, kailangan siya i, uh, what you call this, tuktoko na, uy, na ta- uh, natay glucose ka ron and we need insulin. So, uh, mas less manggod siya mag-produce is- o insulin. So, mar- marasyag tawag na to insulin resistant, di ba? So, kailangan i-give it a push, kumbaga, to um, create the insulin para matake up na to ang glucose. Muna, we will drink mga oral medications for this. In comparison to type 1, dili yun pwede. Kaya dili man na to mahimu ang insulin yun sa pancreas. So, if we cannot make insulin, wala yun, di ba? Uh, I hope na sabtan na rin na. Medyo technical siya, but I tried my best to explain it in simpler terms. Di ba? Okay. So, unsa man ang mga symptoms sa diabetes? Ah, isa pa pala. Kung buntis na po'y ginatawag na gestational diabetes, isa po na. Uh, usually, it will happen sa mga pregnant or, ina, kung, of course, women lang. Dili man pwede mabuntis ang lalaki. <laughs> so, mga women na uh, um, pregnant, nagka-diabetes sila while they were pregnant. So, that is what you call uh, gestational diabetes. And then, some afterwards or sometimes, other uh, women 
after sila mag uh, after getting pregnant and after having the baby mawala na ang diabetes okay and then after that kung ang uban man pud mag ano mag stay na ang diabetes so there's that also isa po na siya ka type of diabetes so how do i know doc if i have diabetes no so na i3 ka p tolo ka letter p na symptoms when it comes to diabetes it is very very uh, what you call this uh Iconic, iconic, wow. <laughs> Or para, uh, something that we should always remember when it comes to diabetes. So, three Ps. Muna siya, polyuria. Or as I mentioned, kanang sige, og pangihi. Polydipsia. O polyphagia. Polydipsia, kanang sige, uhaw. ba? Diba? Okay, of course, uhaw unta. Dayon, um, polyphagia, mo increase sa atong appetite. Okay? Thirsty. Kumbaga, thirsty, polydipsia. And polyuria, sige, pangihi. And polyphagia, increase in appetite. Okay? There are other um, symptoms also, including dizziness. As I mentioned, always tired. Uh, I have uh, a relative na nasa diabetes, no? And late na na-discover na nasa diabetes. Uh, first niya na um, complaint or first niya na na-notice na changes in her body was actually weakness. And like, sometimes kasi when we feel something, pabayaan lang nato no like we will just think that uh, maybe today lang ni and then even if it's recurrent and consistent we are very afraid to go to the hospital so uh, kung natay weakness kung consistent a good and concurrent it is nice and best to actually consult with a doctor no dili mag self medicate as i mentioned and dili mag research sa inyong kaugalingon and mas ma paranoid pa man ta i mean that is the common practice no of Not just Filipinos, but everyone around the world. Now, whenever they feel something, straight to Google. Google ang ilahang doctor. But we should not um, listen to Google because, of course, better good if ma check up sa doctor and makita sa doctor, di ba? Uh, karon na COVID times, um, if you do not want to go to the hospital because, of course, you will risk yourself uh, into exposing sa mga COVID patients. It would be nice for you to take as an option ang teleconsult. No, if you guys do not know, nate mga available na teleconsults. So uh, maybe you can reach out to your uh, local doctors and ask if they um, offer teleconsult, and then talk from there. And then that's a time if ever kailangan gud kanila makitaan. That's a time na makita na mo, de ba? mga prevention na lang na siya kay labaw na karon na COVID. Okay? So other um, symptoms of diabetes can also be blurring of vision. Uh, another is mga um, numb, numbness sa mga uh, toes na to. Sometimes, uh, may naiginatawag na diabetic foot. Uh, kapag ka nang natay sakit, sa, di na nato ma-feel ang sakit. Kunwari natay um, sugat. If we have a sugat uh, sa tong tiil, ma, we will not feel anything but mabahugin na siya ang diabetic foot. Okay? So, katong type 1 diabetes as I mentioned, na nagid to siya underlying problem sa pancreas but ang type 2 man good there are still modifiable risk factors or uh, something that we can change in our lifestyle to prevent it from happening so of course um, physical inactivity similar lang ni siya sa hypertension no so as i mentioned physical inactivity obesity uh, na apoy ka ng hypertension See, as I mentioned, hypertension, if you have hypertension, it can also lead to diabetes, di ba? That is katong, what they call this, secondary hypertension, di ba? Okay? So, kung napukay mga history of mga cardiovascular diseases, it can also lead to uh, diabetes, okay? So, of course, what do we do with mga, ani na mga risk factors na akong ipang mention? Of course, we have to address these risk factors, di ba? We can't just know about it. We have to work our way on it. Di ba? Kung bali, you know and you take action. It applies to everything in life. So, it's either you know or you take action, or you know or you do not take action. Or pabayaan lang nato, di ba? So, because we know, it's best na mag take action. So, iwas ta sa mga grabe na mga high in sugar na mga food. Uh, Mag-search ko dari og mga high in sugar Um, na food na kana, ma, may balan ko na tong ilahang mga um, specific na sugar content but I guess it will take time kay mga gamay na lang atong time to um, on air but uh, mga high in sugar na food ako na mga cake usually cake ice cream white bread rice rice actually is um, high in sugar so if 
you are a diabetic or if you were experiencing the symptoms that I mentioned ganina, if naminaman mo, uh, you should cut down on rice. Kay source pud ni siya. And daghan mga tao, that's why in Filipinos, daghan ang diabetics. Kasi we love to eat rice, di ba? Okay. So, mga management man sa diabetes, uh, I don't want to delve more into the phar- uh, pharmacology of things. Kay very technical na na siya. But, Usually, ako na lang i-mention, metformin ang tambal sa mga tao. First line drug na siya sa diabetes. So, oral, as I mentioned, is usually for mga type 2 diabetes. It cannot be given. I went, it's, um, it, it does not work as well for, it, do not, it does not work as well as for type 2 as for type 1. Guess nyo ba? Nga, kailangan kay sa type 1 ang injection yun kay. Uh, sa to akong gisulti, ang pancreas, dili gud siya magiwag insulin sa type 1. Okay? So, Muto siya ang tambal sa diabetes, ang metformin. But again, as I mentioned, better good na mag-lifestyle in, uh, intervention na lang ta, di ba? We don't want na eventually mag-inom taog tambal and mag-drink taog maintenance medication for the rest of our lives. So, instead, we focus on mga lifestyle intervention. So, kung mga namino ka ron, I hope na tomorrow, start ta mag-exercise, mag-eat og healthy food, and, you know, eat everything in moderation. Pwede man mag-cheat day. Kunwari, you can eat your favorite mga salty foods, mga sugary foods. But everything in moderation. Because that is the key to a better lifestyle. Okay? Exercise. Drink lots of water as well. Eight glasses a day. Usually, mauna ang recommended. Nato yung question nyo na about water. So, sa Facebook Live, nabasa na ako. And, masya, it's better to drink eight glasses of water. Because every time we drink water... Uh, okay na siya, no? Kay, mag- muagi man na siya sa atong kidney and ma-excrete nato ang mga toxins sa atong body. Okay? So, that is a very good thing that we should always remember. Aside from that, iwas stress. Okay? It's normal to be stressed these days. Labaw na because it's a pandemic, COVID, and we are working from home. Some people are working from home. Um, even our frontliners, no? They are very, very stressed at the moment. Mauna, I suggest that you please do stay at home. Wear your masks all the time. Sometimes, magkumpiyansa na tano, dili na taga mas, dili na taga alcohol. So, it's best na mag, um, i-remember gin na to nga, uh, it could be na atong mga katapad, pwede na i-COVID, okay? That is what we should always remember. Kay ang uban tawo, they think na just because daghan nagagawas, wala na covid But it's still around us, it's happening, um, it's still very much there. And bago pa lang nag-start ang mga vaccination. So, I suggest na we will do with prevention yun. So, um, wear your mask. Uh, always bring alcohol. Ano? Butang sa bag. And then, wash hands always. Wash hands kid ang number one. Uh, pag uli sa balay, mag-change of clothes. Uh, medyo off-topic na ta outside from diabetes. But, I think it applies to everything naman, no? Not just diabetes, COVID, and hypertension. But, it's a part of our daily lives to keep ourselves healthy and sanitary and clean all the time. Okay? So, I hope daghan mo na learn sa atong talk this morning. So, I focused um, sa mga two na mga common diseases sa Filipinos. No? These are preventable. So, hypertension and diabetes are preventable diseases that a lot of Filipinos have. And a lot of Filipinos may still do not know that they have them. So, before pa lang na mabalan mo, nga naanak ka, better na mag-iwas-iwas na ka, di ba? Para eventually... Uh, dili na din ka ma-diagnose eventually. Kaya naman ko yung mga pre-diabetic o pre-hypertension. Diba? So, kung nakakay mabati sa balay ninyo karon it's best to consult with a doctor, talk with a doctor, uh, prevent yourself from self-medication. And again, as I mentioned, always, no? Alcohol, wash your hands, and keep yourself happy. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, uh, mag- napatay gamay na minutes, no? So, akong itanaw ang uban questions. Uh, uh, gamay lang. Okay. Be? Hi sa akong mga friends din ha. Si Audrey, si Marlon, si Honey, si Cherlyn, si Anjo, si RC. Maayang buntag sa inyong tanan. Okay. Sa mga who's watching, thank you, Kaayo, for spending your morning with me. Uh, wala, dili na ko siya ma-scroll up. 
Wait, sorry, di na ako ma-scroll up, di na ako makitantanan ang comments. Okay. Ah, di siya makitan. Okay. Anyway, sige. If na mo'y questions, save your questions na lang for our next um, talk uh, next week on Tuesday. Ah, Holy Week Monday next Tuesday. So, wala tayo talk. Uh, but in the other week siguro, uh, you can still catch me here on Friends Radio 96.7. And also, if you can, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> in September on YouTube and you can find me there as well. Thank you so much for listening to our talk for today. And I hope you learned a lot. Keep yourself healthy at home.